Do we have a drill attachment for this? Simon, you got a drill bit for this. Simon, you got a drill bit. Oh, wait a minute, it's on, it's on pull rather than push, that's what's wrong. Sorry. I'm being an idiot, don't worry, we don't need a drill bit, we just need me to have a clue. So uh, this is a hexier that we're building over here, and it's a six-sided uh, structure that's designed to be made out of common materials for disaster relief. So the wall, if you take a look at the walls over there, um, the walls are a single 4x8 sheet. Like this, that's your 4x8, and then the roof pieces are half of a 4x8, <coughs> Sorry. Uh, which makes them very easy to assemble and put together. You, you take your whole sheet, you cut it in half, and you put the two pieces like this, and that's how you manufacture your roof pieces. And the idea is that in a disaster, you could very rapidly produce these buildings out of plywood that was tr brought by truck from outside of the disaster area, rather than having to wait for, say, the Red Cross to organize an airship and tents. Uh, in terms of cost per unit, uh, one of these buildings would last five to ten years, whereas a tent only lasts about a year. And the cost of actually the plywood is about half of the cost of a tent. Uh, so you wind up with a cost of between five and ten percent of the cost of a standard disaster relief tent. Plus it gives you the ability to deal with situations where people are going to be in the field for multiple years. The angle between the wall and the roof is exactly the same. So you just need a bunch of these 60 degree shims. And then the angle for the corner of the roof pieces is half of this. So it's a really easy way of doing it. And the nice thing is when you cut these, you get two for the price of one. It's going to be Alan's homemade cup of soup. How's that, man? <laughs> Alan's homemade cup of soup. Yes. People have been screaming out for it. I like Mars, I've got the sensitive sort of Marsons down here. Mm -hmm. Sainsbury's. Yeah, Co totally. But what's your secret? I say, that's why it's a secret. Uh -huh. I'm going home now, you can do the rest of them. <laughs> Are you? Will you be able to do them all? Yeah. <laughs> A whole lot of them, will you be able to do them all? I think you can do them easy, can you? Time to prepare this soup. We're having care, man. Delicious. There you are. Next, put your cup over, please, Sunday. 
Right over there, so that's one on the table. And then the end falls down the table. And that's precisely what you get if you work in something like cardboard. One block. Yeah, I was no. Kind of no. Back it out. Good. Let's see how we're doing for a wind. Nope. Oh. So this is what we're gonna do. We got six more like this, then we'll have a roof. And you can see it's really, it's simple, but it all depends on the angles and screws. So it's a screw gun technology. You said one in, one in here needs a screw. Two, well, two. He's, got, he's got the screw part. You just make sure the roof doesn't fall on him. Everything's fine. Yeah, that was a Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, trying to get in, man. Okay. okay. It's close enough. There's a, wood. There's a bit of wood at the bottom by your left foot. A bit of wood at the bottom. You want that kicked out? By your left foot. It's okay for now. Okay, so for the next bit, we're all going to lift the roof real slow and real carefully. How long are we going to be here for? Another two minutes stop. Okay, you see where it goes?